Hosea chapter 12 and in verse 13. Hosea 12 and in verse 13. He said, I'm by a prophet. The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he preserved. This charge is titled, Value for the Prophetic Mantle. Just three minutes. Value for the Prophetic Mantle. One of the best things that can happen to anybody is to recognize prophets sent your way in order to value them. Many people in life, especially in our world today, have zero value for prophetic graces, prophetic mantles. And so the struggle continues. What is the place of a prophet? And when I say prophet, I'm talking of a priest, your priest, your pastor, over your life. Number one, the prophet... is the key to the termination of captivity. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Everything Egyptian or Egyptish can be terminated by the ministry of the prophet. Number two, the prophet is key to safety and security of life. The prophetic mantle prevents you from being wasted before your time. It prevents you from being a victim of the enemy. Safety, security of life. A man testified two days ago. He said he was in the midst of an accident in Asaba with his children and family. Terrible accident. All of a sudden, the, the Lord using the person of his prophet, that's myself, just sat beside him while the accident was on. That was the end of that demonic agenda scattered into pieces but not a scratch on him on his wife or his children by a prophet was he preserved number three the prophetic mantle is key to prosperity of life and destiny believe the lord your god so shall you be established believe also in his prophet so shall you prosper a man testified at the Lagos Mega Crusade how he had been struggling in ministry, stranded. Then he, he went to our pastor in Lagos Church and the pastor said, embark on the, on the weight of the Lord and pursue the, the man of God if you think that that's your prophet. And he stepped into a fasting. He said in the course of the fast, he saw I came into the room where he was, literally passed through the wall. Then gave him some instructions. When that fast was over, money entered his hand. In the course of that Lagos crusade, the equivalent of 58 million entered meat into his hand in foreign currency. Life changed. Two million first. 
We have people whose businesses and destinies are transformed by the prophetic mantle, by the prophet. Believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. And believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. So the prophetic mantle is critical for the prosperity of life and death. Number four, the prophetic mantle is key to stability of life. Stability. Stability and establishment of life. Where a man or a woman is to be stable in life. Where you are to be established, either in ministry, established in finances, established in marriage, established in your career. Second Chronicles 20, 20, we read that. By a prophet, is he established? Finally, the prophetic mantle is key to destiny fulfillment. Destiny. Becoming who you are meant to become. Becoming what you are meant to become. Becoming what God said you should become. The day Saul met Samuel, that day his destiny opened. The day David met Samuel, that day his destiny opened. What do you do to benefit from the ministry of the prophet? Number one, place value. We live in a generation today where we see children insult and curse fathers. Where people don't value those ahead of them. They don't value oil. They don't value grace. You place value. On the prophetic or priestly unction or anointing. Number two, submit to instruction. Prophetic, when was the last time you heard something you obeyed? It is in submission to instruction that we see total transformation. Submit. To instruction. Place value. Submit to instruction. And number three. Serve the mantle. Serve. There are those who make demands on I need a double portion of so and so person's grace. You cannot get a double portion of, a, of an anointing you do not serve. You serve in physical service. You serve as a blessing to that prophet in your life. You serve. Make your service to become a seed. Psalm 22 verse 30. He said a seed shall serve him. And it shall be accounted as for him for a generation. Serve with your energy. Serve with your time. Serve with your resources. The oil. This morning we are having one of God's foremost prophets. Not just in Nigeria but in this world. That will be coming this morning to step on this platform. And I prophesy to you today. Everyone in captivity today, the captivity is over today. If you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. Everyone whose life is in danger or in danger today, that danger is over forever. Everyone today, who is a victim of shortage or scarcity or empty handedness today, the shortage, the scarcity, the empty handedness is over forever. The mantle of prosperity is coming your way. Everyone who is unstable, you are trusting God to be established in life today. I prophesy to you, your stability is guaranteed right now. And everyone whose destiny has been closed, this is the service that will open up your destiny. If you believe that, stand up on your feet and lift your hands and just begin to appreciate God for what is about to happen to you.
Mm-hmm.